Hi, I'm Dave Yass, and I'm one of the lead faculty members at the Tantric Alchemy Institute. When I'm not teaching this training, I'm also um, faculty and supervisor at the Ayurvedic Institute in Albuquerque, New Mexico, one of the foremost places to study Ayurveda in the West, led by Dr. Vasant Lad. And I've been teaching there for about six years at this point. Uh, I've taught nutrition and Sanskrit and yoga, as well as um, herbology. I'm also an initiate into the International Nath Order and have also studied um, Sri Vidya Tantra as well. So that's my background in the tantric side of things. At the Tantric Alchemy Institute training, I'm teaching some of the physical practices where I'll emphasize more classical Hatha Yoga practices, including um, pranayama especially. And I also teach Ayurveda and some introduction to Sanskrit so that people attending our training can learn some of this um, powerful language. I also teach some modules where we discuss some of the classical meditation techniques and other kind of visualization techniques that are included in Tantra and traditional yoga. <laughs> and we also go through the Hatha Pradipika, which is um, one of the texts that I, I lead modules to, to go through that text. So I'm also teaching modules on Yoga Nidra, as well as um, specific meditation practices that come out of Yoga Yajnavalkya and the Gyaranda Samhita, two very classic yoga texts. We also have modules on mudras and bandhas and some of the other kind of more refined practices of the physical practice of yoga um, that help start to connect the physical practices into more the more spiritual or the more inner side of things, at least. I also have a module on Sankhya philosophy, which is the kind of metaphysical underpinning for yoga philosophy as well as tantric philosophy, uh, so that people can understand the, the kind of principles and background there. So our school is called the Tantric Alchemy Institute, and Tantra uh, refers to, it's a, it's a specific kind of uh, practice and philosophy that comes out of India that has a certain kind of historical context and everything, but really at its basis it's about identifying and working with a kind of energy that we end up calling Shakti, and the discerning of that and cultivating that. Alchemy then is an process of inner transformation. So we're using that energy to affect inner changes, to affect positive growth within ourselves. It's a kind of cooking process where that energy that we're cultivating through our practice is then used to cook us into m more developed forms, perhaps. Tantra is known as being a bit more of a world accepting philosophy and practice rather than some spiritual paths which maybe try to deny um, aspects of the physical, uh, deny the value of aspects of the physical world in order to transcend in some kind of way. In Tantra, we're aiming at weaving things together and expanding in a continuum. Tantra, even the word, can be defined as a kind of weaving or um, bringing things together. Uh, Tantra also refers to the actual text, we could define it maybe as treatise. This means that it's a kind of esoteric knowledge, a kind of special knowledge that is only gained through the undertaking of certain practices and through instructions that have to be given in person that can't just be picked up off of any website or book. What makes our 300-hour advanced yoga teacher training unique is that it's integrating all of these facets of not just the full spectrum of what yoga has to offer, but what the other sister sciences such as Ayurveda and Jyotish also have to offer to create a self-practice for the people who come out of our training, as well as kind of just a empowered lifestyle that will ignite their lives in ways that allow for positive change, allow for empowerment, and it's our belief that this is what will turn people into truly great teachers as well too. So they'll have a comprehensive understanding of the whole of what these philosophies and practices have to offer, as well as how to implement that in their own lives to affect positive changes, to grow as individuals, to then be able to provide and share more of what they've found through that growth with their own students. I love teaching this um, 300 hour training um, with the Tantric Alchemy Institute. It's honestly one of my favorite experiences teaching. I feel like we're just able to share on such a deep level, on such a direct and kind of connect, in such a direct and kind of connected way that the things that I think are really important, the things that I think have really impacted my life in a positive way, then I can help provide that to other people. 
Uh, I love working with Naga and Liz. They're both incredibly knowledgeable. They're both incredibly wonderful people and human beings. And being here is such a nice retreat for me, such a nice time for my own development. And I see that in the teaching of that towards students, then we all can share and develop together that we can grow in all sorts of ways. The intensive immersion format of our training is effective because it allows people to really go deep into their own personal practices and actually experience the things that we're talking about. It allows people to fully see what this kind of practice looks like. It facilitates this kind of crucible aspect of working alchemically where when we're sealed in to some degree then we're able to really truly cook up and, and develop some kind of real changes of state, real changes um, in a positive direction. Specifically the Sanctuary Two Rivers is such a nice place to have this kind of intensive immersion because it's a landscape that really allows for, on the one hand, a retreat away from the busyness of ordinary life, a retreat away from the busyness of the city and civilization, but at the same time a real immersion in nature, a real immersion in the beauty and serenity and also um, liveliness uh, and vitality that nature expresses. And given that in Tantra, we're aiming to align with these kind of forces, aiming to bring them in and invoke them and work with them and harmonize ourselves and our lives with them. It's particularly nice to be able to have such an easy access point by being here off grid in open air rooms and houses and practice spaces. Being here also means that we get to enjoy amazing meals that then can facilitate our understanding of Ayurveda as we see the way that the, the, the different tastes of Ayurveda affect our bodies, as we see the way that different styles of eating affect us in um, perhaps, uh, can, can affect us in perhaps more positive ways, can bring more health and balance to our life, which then allows us to be able to have more clarity of mind, which then allows us to be able to shine our spirits a little bit brighter. Being at the sanctuary gives us a, a sense of our own energy signatures, uh, and I mean that in this context actually as um, the kind of energy that we use in terms of electricity um, or water usage or things like that, where here since we're off-grid and things are run through solar power and the water comes locally, then we have a real sense of the, the importance, the care that we should take with these resources and even kind of the sacredness of the way that these resources come to us and that should be respected. I think somebody can walk away from our 300 hour advanced training with a lot more experience both in yoga and in teaching yoga and a much more expanded kind of point of view on how yoga fits in and uh, the context that it comes out of and the other wisdom traditions that it comes out of as well as how it can fit into their life. I think we help people design specialty workshops as well too so it, then they can stand out as teachers not just offering ordinary yoga classes but being offered up, being able to offer uh, yoga classes that can also teach to this more comprehensive landscape. I would say to somebody considering the Tantric Alchemy Institute program that if you're interested in your personal development, if you're interested in becoming a better teacher, if you're interested in really understanding what yoga is, what Tantra is, what Ayurveda and all of these other kind of integrated ways of seeing the world and healing ourselves and unfolding um, even what we could call wisdom that you should absolutely join us at our next training. Mm -hmm.